Right. So let us come back. And we have already done uh, <clears throat> the isolation, that is concentration methods. Then gradually we went into extraction methods. Then we went into smelting. Then we have done some questions on smelting. Now we'll end the topic with refining of aluminium. So basically you're refining of aluminium, uh, the process which or the electrolytic method which we use is called Hoops electrolytic method. Right. So and Hoops electrolytic method, the electrolytic cell basically when we observe that uh, electrolytic cell we always know that you know, it, it, it should have a cathode electrolytic cell is composed of a cathode anode and an electrolyte that's important now in hoops electrolytic pro method we are going to just uh, see what is an, what is acting as an anode what is the electrolyte and what is acting as a cathode this is most important for you all so see now you you have seen the electrolytic cell in this electrolytic cell you have three electrodes connected these three electrodes where are they connected all these three electrodes are connected to the external circuit that is cathode right so most important thing in the cathode your pure aluminium acts as a cathode that's the first thing just see this layer now when i come down to the second layer that is your molten fluoride so let us write this as cathode upper layer this will be better for you upper layer now the uh, middle layer that is your electrolyte that is your middle layer and the last layer is the bottom layer I have written it in the reverse order okay bottom layer now let us see in the middle layer you have molten fluorides now here along with this molten fluorides you have fused aluminium also fused aluminium plus molten fluoride so the, the electrolyte here is fused aluminium plus metal fluorides of what or molten fluorides of what fluorides of aluminium barium sodium yes all these fluorides are going to fuse together that will be a middle layer which acts as an electrolyte when i come down to the last layer you have three important things impure aluminium metal plus you have silicon and copper alloy also right now so once again you have three layers yes first layer anodic layer uh, sorry cathodic layer first layer cathodic layer yes the second layer is electrolyte and the third layer is this so don't get confused i've written in the reverse order this is one this is two this is three please uh, get uh, write it properly now what happens we very well know in hal harold process the amount of aluminium which is obtained so in hal harold process the amount of aluminium obtained is almost 99 percent pure now during this process of electrolysis <coughs> uh, the amount of uh, impure aluminium everything gets purified due to when they get exchanged with the opposite electrodes and from here from the bottom layer the amount of aluminium is collected and again from the second this is also collected and finally it is sent to the first layer and then it is scrapped off so the amount of aluminium here by the process of hoops process the amount of aluminium which we get is 99 point 98 percent pure this is the perfection of this so this is what you're going to write in your hoops process simple nothing to explain no cell reactions for you all to study only thing you have to remember as i've written reverse order please don't go with this just write one here two and three so this comes down i'm sorry for this this comes down and finish up your answer